The body may die, but never the soul, which is merely passed on. Souls flow onward, born and reborn, forever part of the great ether stream. Why friends make grave here? Can we not take Biggie Pond home to village? He'd want to be buried where he fell. It is traditional amongst mercenaries. I'm so sorry, Fanta. If only I hadn't listened to those people, you'd still be... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. No matter what, those guys would attract us down eventually. What matters is that Vandam saved all our lives. For now, let's just be grateful to him for that. I won't forget your words, Van Damme, ever. I'll fight my own war with Pyra. Pyra? worried that you might not. Wake up. Pyra, you know I've got to ask. That thing that happened yesterday, you called yourself Mithra? What? I... I am... Um... I'd like to hear that too. That power, it wasn't normal. Is that the true power of the Aegis? I think you owe us an explanation. It was pretty crazy. Tora want to know too. Pyra was super strong. Why so strong, huh? No, no, don't pressure the girl. Well, uh, the thing is, I mean... Pyra? Why? Huh? Why did you wake me up? Huh? What? I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to come back. I left everything to her so I'd never have to use that power again. But then you woke me up. W woke you up? If you hadn't been so useless, none of this would have happened. I wouldn't have had to use this power. Didn't you listen to that Van Damme guy? He told you to hold back. He told you to run. But you just had to push yourself, idiot. Look where it's got us now. You. You really messed up. You don't have to tell me that. I know, all right. I knew I was being an idiot. Rex. But I just... I couldn't hand you over to them. I wanted to keep you safe. Uh, what? Uh, at any rate, if you've got questions, you can ask her. I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, that's not fair. Everyone, I'm very sorry about all that.
Malos and I are Aegis's. Blades born with a terrible power, strong enough to destroy the world. Malos is another Aegis. Long ago, there was a man who climbed a world tree, hoping to make it to Elysium and meet his creator. But when he arrived at Elysium, he found it empty. So instead, as proof that he had reached that divine realm, he brought back two core crystals, Malos and me. And once he made it back to Alrest, he awakened Malos. Why he did it, I can't say. For greed, for power, or perhaps... When Malos awakened, he wielded his world-shaking power without restraint. To him, it was natural. He had never known anything else. I was awakened by a driver who was determined to stop Malos's rampage. So Malos and I fought. I fought with all my might and succeeded in defeating Malos. But not without a price. Three great titans fell in the struggle. After the battle, I sealed myself away to ensure that power would never be unleashed again. I took the form you see now, and fell into a long slumber. That was 500 years ago. The Aegis War. The man who awakened Mithra was Adam, hero of the lost kingdom of Torna. Adam fought as Mithra's driver to protect the world from Malos. We Titans played our part in that battle, too. It is our calling to live alongside humanity, after all. Grumps. Adam hid Pyra's sleeping body inside a great ship and sunk her to the cloud sea's floor where none could abuse her power. So that day, that's the ship that we... That's how Pyra and I... I believe it was fate that we met each other. Otherwise, my sister would never have woken up. You call her your sister? Mithra and I used to talk together in that dream of Elysium where you met me. We promised that when we were awakened again, We'd go home to the real Elysium. And then, we would fulfill our real purpose. And that's... defeating Malos again. I'm very sorry about Mithra. She didn't mean all that. You have to understand, she came out because she wanted to protect you. She broke her own seal for you. Even used her power as the Aegis. The flame powers I use are just a shadow of her strength. Droplets of excess energy trickling through the seal. Don't worry about it. She was right. This was all my fault. I'm just glad... Hmm? ...that you finally managed to open up a little. Also, thank you for protecting everyone, I mean. Protecting? Me? 
Your powers are incredible. I could feel the truth behind the legends. I'm sorry. I... You apologize a lot. You know that. I guess you still feel guilty about the Aegis's power, right? But I don't want you to have to apologize anymore. I hope I can help you move past that. No. I know I can. Rex, I... Power depends on the heart of its wielder. That's what Vandam said. That's why your power is the power to protect. The power to keep everyone safe and smiling. I want to do the same. I'm gonna be the kind of driver who can protect you in turn, I promise. Make a girl cry, that's not gonna fly. Make a girl smile, you pass the trial. That's the third rule of the salvager code. Yeah? Rex, Rex! Can you help Tora with repairing of puppy, please? Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. What's for dinner tonight? How does meatball pot o sound? Delicious. Mmm, I can't wait. That smile, Rex, never loses his smile. And that's what keeps us all going. Remind you of Adam, don't you think? What's this? Take it, and go to Indol. That dagger's owner will tell you how you can get to Elysium. This is a blade weapon, right? Who's its owner? The man who was once my driver. Your driver? Huh? But then... Coal is a blade. We fought together in the Aegis War. Yes. His real name is Minoth. Blades not get old, though. Why Cole looks so old? Because I'm one of the cursed ones. A flesh eater. <laughs> A flesh eater? A blade who has been fused with human cells. A long time ago... Before the war, some sought to test the limits of Blade's potential. I am a product of their experiments, one of the unlucky ones who was tainted by their folly. Why would ancient people do that? It seems that by combining Blade and human, it is sometimes possible to create Blades with extremely unique powers but only very rarely. Most experiments were failures, and I was no different. <sighs> I gained nothing at all, and lost my immortality to boot. I likely won't last much longer. Grandpa? Before I go, I want to see where your path ends. That dagger will aid you. Will you do this for me? Of course. Oh, but can I ask you to do something too? Namely? I was wondering if you could write a play about Vandam. About Vandam? Yeah, I think. His story could inspire a lot of people. Once I find Elysium, I'll come see you again. Show it to me then? An interesting notion. Perhaps that is the least I can do. Very well. I'll do it. So see you make it back here in one piece.
Understand? Absolutely. You have my word. Gentlepon, thank you for joining us here today. We hope you enjoy performance of Uriah Goes to War. This is going to be so much fun. Are we the only ones watching? I don't know. Queen Rakura, me think time has come to go to war with more Ardain. This is most certain war minister. My lady. Wow, you're great, Nia. Shit at you. I didn't ask to take part in this farce. Ahem! This not sudden, Your Majesty. We preparing for war ever since more Ardain take occupation of Gormot. Then the preparations are complete. Preparations go steady for long time, but we can quickly make complete. More Ardain soon try to conquer other countries aside from Gormot. We cannot allow ambitions to succeed. Must start war at earliest possibility. I see. So be it then. Let us make war. Wait one moment, please. You have concerns, High Minister? Titan of Moor Ardain quickly becoming so barren, crops cannot be grown. Meanwhile, we have rich soil producing much delicious ground rice. Why bother with war when Moor Ardain collapse on its own from famine? A valid question. No, no! If we wait, more are they just conquer more territories like Gormot. With more territories, more are they become still greater threat. Even if more are they Titan collapse completely, may it still be difficult to defeat whole empire. There no need to be hasty. More are they still not have enough territory or supplies to properly provide for own people. Gormat alone not enough to support whole of our Danian population. In other words, more prudent to wait for more Ardain to grow weaker before attacking. Your argument is compelling. That not happen today or tomorrow though. No, might take many decades to happen, or even centuries. We can not allow more Ardain threat to remain longer than necessary. That quite true, but now is not time to rush into things. War preparations may be in progress, but still not in optimal condition. Oh, this argument never end. Your Majesty must make final decision. Huh? You'll need to decide. Your Majesty is Queen of Uraya. Uh, oh yeah, right. Let's go to war. Hmm. 
And what now? Did you both forget your lines? Uh, uh, script of Uriah Goes to War! End here! Thank you for coming today, everyone. I see. I see. By showing this play to the children, you'll get them to think for themselves about whether Uriah should go to war. Mm, that's quite clever, actually. It's a difficult question. I can see the kids having split opinions, too. You forced me to take part in this thing, and then it just ends like that. This is so not satisfying. Got it. Report it. I know there'll be a new problem. Got it. Report it. I know there'll be a new problem. Just you wait. Back to battle. That's very kind of you. Let's see what I can do with this. Let me handle the support role. If you require backup, you know. Reporting in. I hope things went well. Yes, the score. to improve. I reckon the quickest route is back to Argentum, ship to Moor Ardain, then on to the Praetorium. If we're lucky, there'll be a guild ship at the port. Can't say no to a free ride. Let's go and see. It doesn't cost anything? Salvagers can board guild ships for free. I'll negotiate for you guys, too. That would be big help!
we're here. So, shall we? Congratulations! It's Rex! Rex come back alive? Rex have many sidekicks now. Quite the little celebrity, aren't we? Well, you know, I've been trading here for a while. Anyway, I'll find us a ride to the Empire. You guys go on ahead to the inn. Sounds good. See you around then. <laughs> 